What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Talking about specifically the character of Chad Meeks Martin, aka Mason Gooding, the actor who portrays the character. And at we, as we saw at the end of the fifth movie, Mason's character of Chad did survive. The nephew of Randy Meeks is alive and well. And he may or may not have today, not today, but yesterday, seemingly confirmed his participation in the sixth movie. Not that we didn't already expect that to be coming, but he responded to a fan recently. Shout out to UK because you are the fan in particular that he responded to as you put out this heartfelt tweet talking about how you connected with the cast of screen five and how you hope to have that same effect from screen six and he seemingly responded kind of hinting at it as far as like how i'm perceiving it and how a lot of other people are perceiving it with the comment of we got you don't worry so in that regard he could have been just showing nice you know support but also he could again just have been seemingly confirming that casting announcements could indeed be right around the corner which we already know that they are maybe they're coming this week i'll talk about why or how i could see them being factored into this week but also a big thing that's kind of making me think that this won't happen but it seems that from that tweet i'm gonna i'm gonna say that he is basically seemingly confirmed without us getting the official announcement yet from the scream admin accounts and all that stuff themselves this is him kind of saying that you know the cast of scream six might actually already be locked he's a part of it and i think you guys many of you you as well Kate, will be satisfied with those in participation of this upcoming six movie now the character of chad we know was the boyfriend of the character of Liv, played by sonya amar who did not make it out of the film alive sadly and chad again is the nephew of randy and he is the brother of Mindy, who is betrayed by Jasmine Savoy Brown. So we hopefully will get to see more development of those two. Maybe we'll get to see how Chad has been impacted by Liv's death. Maybe he has a new partner. Maybe he is going to be the opening kill. One of the survivors that end up dying at the start of the movie. I know that will probably be something that a lot of you won't like. But also at the end of the day, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they break our hearts very early on. And I know that with Chad and Mindy, uh, as I rewatch the movie, I'm seeing I'm seeing what many people are talking about as it pertains to the characters of Terrace Friends not really having too much development. But again, like I've stated before, when they're on screen, we see enough of them and we see these we see the performances and the way they're being portrayed enough in a way in which we, at least for me anyway, I say would want to see more of them. There's certain qualities that are all highlighted in, in each character, making them all likable, making them all very relatable. And the fact that, you know, a lot of them are horror fans that just makes us is easily related to them not related but easily connected to them in terms of how we can relate to them but hopefully with scream 6 we'll get to explore and dive into a little bit more of how chad has been impacted by the events of scream 5 get to just spend more time with tara's group of friends and learn a little bit more about them and not just how they were connected to all these other legacy characters but actually know them get to see them you know stand out on their own more so as opposed to the fifth one but Going into casting announcements potentially coming this week, Paramount has a, they will have something going on at CinemaCon this week. Now, most of what is going on at CinemaCon this, this week with Paramount is related to Top Gun Maverick, which has nothing to do with Scream 6. But in my mind, in a perfect world, now that Paramount knows that Scream can make them money, because we know they let us down last year at CinemaCon and all we got was Clifford, it seems like the Paramount panel this year is not going to be giving us any uh, any look at their upcoming slate of films. It's just going to be all straight up Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick. And I think there's actually going to be a full feature look at that movie where everybody in attendance will get to watch the movie early. But in my head, I'm picturing a casting announcement of all the survivors with a quick video from nev campbell who can also announce her participation on screen in a quick video package while a lead of paramount is on stage announcing it going over the success of scream and how they can't wait to go back into the universe of scream with ghostface next year uh march 31st 2023 when scream when scream 6 releases next year and then there's just a quick video before the screening of top gun maverick where nev campbell is on screen announcing her participation in the film and also confirming that all the survivors that they saw from the fifth movie will be back along with courtney cox and teasing that we will get cast announcements in the coming 
weeks as they get ready to start shooting in June. That's just how I would love for this to happen. But given how I see things going down for Paramount at CinemaCon this year, it looks like this will be another dud as it pertains to screen related content. But that doesn't mean that we won't get casting announcements this week. We could still, of course, get them from all the other sources that we know deadline bloody disgusting variety all of those outlets could still break news collider even they could all break reports about casting i've seen other people it's kind of been playing with us or just kind of you know poking i would say fun at us that they seem to know something like rj tobert who has left a comment on shout out to you scream obsessed i saw the tweet that he responded to and you know it just seems that casting announcements for whatever reason are coming coming rather closer than i thought and if it does indeed happen this week i'll be fine again i just put together a little idea of how they could do it at CinemaCon, but it doesn't seem like that's what's going to happen it seems like that's just going to be a big old spot for top gun maverick as it relates to chad meeks martin and his role in scream 6 hopefully we get to see more of him and how he's fleshed out and how he's progressed since the events of Scream 5 at least see how he's been affected by the events of Scream 5 how that's brought him and his sister closer if he's the opening kill we can still learn how he was impacted we could just learn it from Mindy though <laughs> and just hear how Mindy's now impacted from of course losing some friends in Scream 5 now losing her brother and see what her narrative will be like and how her and Chad have been coming together since the events of 5 because we don't know how many years later this will be set after the events of 5 so Mason Gooding again today not today yesterday seemingly confirmed his participation in scream 6 what do you guys want to see from chad meese martin in scream 6 i already saw someone mention that he wasn't really their favorite character and that's fine if he wasn't your favorite character let me know why down in the comment section below or if you enjoyed mason gooding's character of chad meese martin let me know why also down in the comment section and what you want to see from him going into scream 6 do you want him to have a new partner or do you want him to be single for whatever reason do you want to see more of who he is outside of you know just being randy's nephew because i'm hoping that's what we'll get in scream six we'll see a lot more of these characters outside of just their attachments to the legacy characters that they were, that they were all tied to for the fifth movie but hopefully scream six casting announcements will come out shortly and we'll learn about who is joining these crop of survivors because we already kind of know that they're in the movie but it was nice to see that tweet from chad or from mason i meant to say earlier yesterday but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post location and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video